Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. You Jewish, what does that mean? I have Jewish, Italian, ish mean? Ish, what does ish mean? Bring it up, bring it up, Kev. Ish. Bring it up, Kev. Jewish. And, and, and will I find that term in the Torah? All right, and will I find it in the Holy Bible? Bring it up. Here we go. Here we go, watch this. Well, here we go. Hebrew is, but Jewish, that means you're a convert. If you do the, the, the theory, when was, it, when, was, when was that state established? 1948. It wasn't established by God. 1948, there was allowed the Balfour Declaration to come into the land while the others suffered the curses and were removed from the land. What we're reading is Bible and historical proof. That's why we're showing you the curses. Christ, because he established, he said, he promised us he will come back and deliver his people for the truth. Listen, he will come back and deliver his people from the nation that hate them. The same nation that did this. Hold on, let me ask you. Listen, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. The same, hey, hey, hold up now. We need order. Yeah. The same nation that did this, they must pay. Because in the Torah, there's a law, right? Give me that law, Exodus. Let's get this law in the Torah. All right? Because every law must be executed, right? If it's not executed, that's judgment behind it. Do you agree? Yeah, yes or no? Do you agree? Must. Oh, question is, every law must be upheld, especially if it comes from God. Yes or no? Okay. And if, it, and if it's not kept, what follows? If this, there we go. That's what I like to hear. Watch this. Here we go. Exodus chapter 21 verse 16 and he that stealeth a man and selleth him or if he be found in his hand if he be found in his hand he shall surely be put to death he surely shall be put to death there's a punishment that must be uh, acquired okay now let's see if that law changes okay we're going to see because it's a law give me Malachi 3 and 6 and then we're going to see the word of Christ what would Jesus do right Right, we're gonna see what would Jesus do and say. Right? Watch. Read. Preach. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Bring it up. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I change not. Meaning his commandments and statutes remain forever. Right. It's not going anywhere. That's why we have our moral law. Right. Okay? And that's something we lack as a nation. This nation that God has chosen and decided not to keep his commandments. They have they chose to disobey his laws right. we lack that 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 discipline but god says it's high time for us to wake up and keep his discipline yes. which is his law read god is, god therefore the sons of jacob are not consumed read it again for i he asked a good question right what do we do to change what do god people need to do to change right read we're dialoguing but you have to remember we have to remember under for who who's that new covenant for yeah, absolutely we embrace that new covenant we for what we're gonna get that that's why i wanted to read this okay here we go read Malachi chapter three verse six hold on hold on wait a minute i wanted you to hear this part it's so important what would jesus do give me luke chapter one verse 68 let's see if jesus upheld that same law but you, don't go where you going? Come back, come back. Anyway, here we go, read it. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the God of Israel. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. His what? His people. God said he's coming to redeem his people. From what? Let's see. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. This is the new covenant, right? This is our deliverance being prophesied out of the mouth of Christ. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Since the whole world began, it, it had the same message over and over. It, this Bible was written to the Israelites, you blacks and Hispanics and, this, and, and Native Indians. You are the Israelites. Read. That we should be saved. That we should be saved. Read. From our enemies. From who? Our enemies. From who? 
our enemies. God said he's coming to save us from our enemies. Bring it out. Question, would, would a friend do this to a friend? Put chains on your neck, rape your wives, take your children from you, put you on plantations till the muscle detached from the bones? Would, they, would a friend do that? I don't think so. Then afterwards, hide the reality in a book. Hide your true heritage or kill you if you begin to bring out the truth. Would a friend do that? I don't think so. God said, I'm coming to destroy all those enemies that did this to you. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. Wait a minute. He's also letting you know that same nation hates you. That nation hates us. The same nation that put the yokes on the iron on our necks. That locks us, locks us up in the prisons. That uh, uh, creates contracts to allow us to uh, uh, kill ourselves on these fields. God said they hate you. you what's that uh, a newscast uh, a woman say? I told LeBron to shut up and just dribble. Must they run their mouths like that? Unfortunately, a lot of kids and some adults take these ignorant comments seriously. Look, there might be a cautionary lesson in LeBron for kids. This is what happens when you attempt to leave high school a year early to join the NBA. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid $100 million a year to bounce a ball. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, you're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. Shut up, slave, and dribble. God, Christ said, I'm coming to save you from that wicked nation, that shameless nation. Read. To perform the mercy promise to our Father. It was a promise. What's a promise? If God promises you something, what does that mean? That means it's guaranteed to happen. It's guaranteed to be fulfilled. Read. And to remember his holy covenant. Remember his holy covenant. Give me the Hebrews 8 and 8. Who this? Uh, who are the new and old covenant for? Who was it ever for? Let's find out. Because Christianity, modern Christianity, likes to push the lie and says, "Listen, the co new covenant is for everybody." Right. Let's see what the Bible says. Here Hebrews eight and eight. Hebrews chapter eight, verse eight. And, he and Hebrews is a New Testament, right? Is it a New Testament? Read. But finding fault with them, he said. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, come on. when I'll make a new covenant. A new covenant. Let's see who it is for. With the house of Israel. The house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. Oh, wait a minute. Read on. Maybe it says it later, uh, later on. Read on. Not according to the covenant uh -huh. that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand uh -huh. to lead them uh -huh. out of the land of Egypt. You see that? That old covenant and new covenant still belongs to the Israelites. That's right. It doesn't, it has not changed. We read it in Malachi 3 and 6. The covenant has not changed. It still belongs to the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.